think of TV lawyers, the one that comes to mind for me almost always, Judge, Judge Judy. Judy. Yeah. Every single time. She's extreme because she talks to people like the hardest motherfucker on planet Earth and then looks like the fashion designer from The Incredibles. Like, she's she, she's like Ed, really Edna, tiny. Edna? I don't even know. So her she, name ain't even Judy? No, the fashion designer. Oh, I was going to say. I don't know if her name is Judy. <laughs> Maybe it's not. But yeah, I always found that to be extreme because she'll be... You She's know, like tough. going after people. I would watch Judge Judy with my grandma. Yeah. And then Judge Mathis. And I think Judge Joe Brown. Judge Joe Brown sometimes. Don't forget my brother Joe Brown. Um, who else? I'm Judge Steve Harvey now. I just like, I'm not interested. And it's so funny because it's like small claims court. So it's like five grand or less, I think. And it was like such a big deal it felt like you know and then they're interviewing the motherfuckers afterwards they're cutting their little promos yeah. well let me tell you about this judge brother sitting up there on that high chair brother if he was down here with the hulkster it'd be a different story dude and now we know that some of them were actors or actresses oh yeah you know because we dude. see people on like 90 day fiance and i'm like oh yeah you were on i mean i don't remember them but i've seen Playing People us for fucking fools. That. But it is true that uh, we're dumb as shit for watching any of that stuff and waste our, like, <laughs> I'll be sitting there at whatever age if I know that I'm, like, on my deathbed just going, why? <laughs> I mean, why did I watch the TV than... Guide channel for two hours okay, straight? <laughs> honestly, like, embarrassingly enough, that was one of my comfort things was like no i think you told me that yeah. one time yeah because then i played like and then you found one and you played it for me and it was so sweet but yeah i would like always have my mom would come in and i'm like why aren't you watching tv and i'm like i am it's just the tv guide station because they would even have like their own tv and then i could see what was like maybe there's something better on but it would be on for hours I'm pretty sure that there was a uh, WWF special on the TV See, Guide I, channel maybe I watched it. one time where they actually showed like the show. They yeah, did. They had shows on there. I don't know if it was on there, but um, they did their own halftime show, like in the middle, like during the halftime show of the football game. WWE had its uh, own show during that time period that's smart. on another channel and had huge ratings yeah. and I think it might have been the TV Guide channel I don't know I'm not sure but uh, I'm pretty sure they mentioned that What because you had a thing in the middle of it and yeah. then the other shit going on well, around it, like it on the top and then the bottom scroll no but there was like it and then shit on yeah, the side like and then like something. bars and then I the, think about like you know, like somebody younger watching this, like my nephew or something. What, like, the, what fuck the fuck are is they talking TV about? God? Or, or better yet, like the paper oh, that's TV funny. God that used to come out. Now we're just getting off on something totally. Dude, different. You just said we were getting, getting off. off. That's funny. Anyway, John Tron has a video that's not the newest, but it's pretty damn new it's compared new to, to the other ones, and it's new to us. So hopefully you've already seen it and you can enjoy our reaction to it. It is the world's most extreme TV lawyer. What the fuck? Is he going to go around suing people for farting or like, what's extreme? You're I sued, sir. No, I know that was you. Pretty bizarre things going out just on the streets like acting a fool in front of people. So, it'll, it'll probably be Dude, funny. Dude, I'll tell you, I've, I've been the victim of some flatulence that have made me want to sue somebody. I'm still trying to have farts. All right, let's go. Because I'm about to sue you next time. Here we go. It's too quiet. Something's going to happen to me, isn't it? Look at this. Oh, there it is. Look at me. I'm Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer. Nice to meet you. Very cool name. Uh, I'll be honest. Can you call me an ambulance? Seriously hurt by an 18-wheeler? Yeah, I think you know that's happened. I... 
I, th I think you're aware that's happened. A hammer insurance company for you. For me? What? No, I needed that. How am I going to pay this bill? An 18-wheeler ran a red light. My client fractured his arm and leg. I don't, I, I don't need to know that. I feel like that's like an attorney-client <laughs> thing. I got him $196,000 in his pocket. Well, that's how they get you, isn't it? All right, you're hired. I'm waiting. Hey, well, why don't you tell I already said. Some people. So I bet you're wondering who that was that just fictionally compressed my rib cage in the last shot. <laughs> well, to tell you that, we've got to take a trip to the Lone Star State of Texas, where everything is bigger and better, including but not limited to trucks, podcasts, McMansion to normal house ratios, and yes, even TV lawyers. And that, my friends, is where Jim Adler comes into the picture. I'm sure you've all had the experience Jesse of seeing, you know, TV lawyers guy. on like daytime TV, at least here in America. A couple of years well, ago. Jim Adler is that, but XXL. He goes by the epic nickname, the Texas Hammer. And actually, he's one of the first people to ever pioneer this style of like aggressive lawyer ad. I've been looking into him and honestly, he really has produced some of the most amazing works of television advertising I've ever seen. So <laughs> oh let's gosh. take a look and see if any of them can convince me I need a personal injury lawyer. If he really is that good, you know, I should have my credit card in hand by the end. Let's take a look. This is a paid advertisement for legal services. Most insurance companies won't pay without a fight. No matter how bad the wreck is, their goal is to pay you less. Who and what do I do? do this? Well, I know it's not respect personal space. Can I get a bit of distance here? I appreciate the vigor, but still. He's got Lear and I hit hard. My <laughs> client had a traumatic brain injury. Traumatic. Jim, watch out. Okay, if you keep doing that, you might get a traumatic brain injury. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It just makes me laugh that he's like oversharing about this. It doesn't feel like a relevant detail telling me about the state of your client's brainstem. It just feels like some annoying kid on the playground telling me about something I didn't ask to know. Just like, the Stegosaurus is the best dinosaur because it has spikes on its tail. Look, it's cool, man. I'm just, I'm personally, I'm just happy that you are that excited about it. I got him a million nine hundred thirteen thousand five hundred dollars in his pocket. Damn, all right, that's a pretty nice payout. You know, he might not remember what the money's for, you know, what it is, but he will be rich. <laughs> oh, now, greedy insurance companies are not unstoppable. I am. Jesus, dude. <laughs> hey, look, if you Damn. say so, I'm not gonna not believe a person in that position. I just, at a gut level, I get a sort of feeling that I shouldn't really disagree with whatever you're saying. Bad 18-wheeler wreck? Seriously injured? Debt piling up, can't work. Get it! Get it. Oh my god, what, what the hell is this? This thing reads like a manifesto. You trying to get people riled up or something? You keep getting hit by cars? You've been given a bad hand in life? You thinking maybe it's time to do something drastic? That's what I think. Sure, there might be something deep down telling you not to do it, that it's wrong, but you did agree to that highway robbery. And what, you want to look like a pussy? Some insurance companies can be difficult. Now who is that? Who has just popped up here? Sorry. You know, the universe of Jim Adler, Pass it's got three. a lot of characters. It's extensive. You would have had to read the manga to get it. Uh, we go at them where it hurts, in their greedy little pockets. I get it. not like that. My God, okay. this is ridiculous. Was business slow or something, guys? You know, we needed highway robbery to sell legal services to the public. Yellow Pages wasn't cutting it anymore. I like to think this is really how they retrieve your money if you hire them, you know? In fact, I think if it's not like this, I'm gonna feel a bit scammed now. We might have to call that a bit of false advertising, you know? Civil suit, what is that? Sounds frilly to me. Just get the crowbar! Yep. So I bet you're asking yourselves, who is the deputy to Jim Adler's sheriff here, you know? Has who exactly is this right-hand man? Well, you see, I'll tell you, that there is the Texas Hammer. And I'm attorney Bill Adler, the Texas Hammer. Oh yeah, uh, Jim Adler's also the Texas Hammer. I'm Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer. Yeah, they're both the Texas, Texas Hammer? Hammer? Now what exactly happened here is what I wanna know. Why do they both have to be the Texas Hammer? Was there some kind of argument behind the scenes and they couldn't settle no, it? Why couldn't the bill been the Dallas Mallet or something? I'm just assuming because Bill's full name is Bill Adler, you know, he's got the same last name as Jim. I'm assuming son. that means he's Jim's son. Let's check, shall we? If it's not. Confirmed. It okay. is the prodigal son. See, but that yeah. still doesn't really explain it, because the timing's a tad early, you know? You can't exactly both be king at the same time. The sledge throne cannot be contested. If you're hurt, don't just hit the insurance company with one hammer. Smash them with two hammers. Double trouble. Double Now, trouble. when I pitched to you guys that I should be the third Texas hammer, right, <laughs> you said that's no good, but I don't really buy it, because you're doing a whole double trouble thing here. <laughs> two heads are better than one. I said three heads are better than one. 
triple trouble. I could be the third Texas <laughs> Hammer. I, now, I just really feel like I'm being steamrolled here, guys. You're I'm going to be the Texas, Texas Hammer. hammer. You're yeah, going to be the Texas Hammer. I'm going to be the Texas Hammer. hammer. Can I be the Corpus yeah, Christi you, wrench? And he's going to be the, the Texas Hammer. Christi and that's wrench. why. Oh, hold on. Oh, no. It's going to be him. Don't do that. I'm you and your phone. That there is a robocall. And you know who can help with that? Uh, Today's sponsor, Incogni. This kind of thing, my friends, is the handiwork of data brokers, digital ninjas that stealthily snatch up your information and sell it to the highest bidder. But they don't just use robocalls. They can also track you using people search sites to discover things like your car's license plate. Hold on, watch out for, do you not see the ledge? That's a ledge! We're gonna, oh my God! Furthermore, while you're browsing the web to find a doctor for the car crash, a digital snitch is lurking in the shadows. That's right. Even health insurance companies are in cahoots with the data broker mafia, sifting through your online crumbs for reasons to increase your rates. Enter Incogni, your digital protection against the data hoarders, your personal data's own witness protection program. With Incogni, it's as easy as one, two, three. You sign up, grant them access to defending your digital home, and then just kick back and enjoy the peace of mind. They'll keep you updated as they keep your data away from prying eyes. So you know what to do. Head on over to incogni.com slash JonTron, punch in the code JonTron, and bam, you're cruising with a 60% discount on an annual Incogni plan. Nice. That was honestly weird. Anyways, back to what I was talking about, Jim Adler. If you thought those previous showings were impressive, keep in mind the best is yet to come with this superstar, because he can do it in Espanol. Tambien. No way. Sorry, Jim Adler, El Martillo Tejano. Oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of legendary. He does all that the Spanish-speaking awesome. advertisements himself, and it's just the most atrocious Spanish-speaking accent I've ever heard, but <laughs> you gotta give the man credit. He does it. Jim Adler. Trabajar, puedes ayudarme? Por supuesto, los martillaré. Soy Jim Adler, el martillo tejano. Un caro golpeo a mi cliente por detrás. Listen, they love him over there, and he would have honestly made a killing if they could understand what exactly he was trying <laughs> to sell them. Pero no hay dinero para usted. Jim Adler. Listen, that's fair. <laughs> Okay, it don't matter what side of the border you're on, you don't want to see that. No. Nadie se mete conmigo y mi martillo. No entiendo, pero bueno. <laughs> but jokes aside, whatever he's doing is clearly working because he has made a ton of these. Also, something I couldn't help but notice is Jim Adler clearly has some kind of affinity for dogs because tons of his ads feature them, including this weird one where he's walking an 18-wheeler oh on God. a leash like it is a dog. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure what that one's about. Stay! A bad wreck with a company truck can bring out the worst in an insurance company. I didn't want legal counsel, but now I do. <laughs> Thank you to the dogs. Terribly hurt, I'm Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer. When greedy insurance companies cheat car wreck victims, I get angry than a junkyard dog. I like how he yells on the first line, then immediately quiets down because he doesn't want to like aggro the dog and make it go all crazy and bite him or something. It's time to bark. I'll get their attention. Okay, it's all good again. It's time you know, to bark. dog passed the vibe check. He's barking. I'm screaming. I tell you what, you could be good for my company. You want to join? Seeing as you're a dog, I got the perfect nickname for you. You could be the Texas Hammer. I'm Jim Adler, the tough, smart lawyer. I love dogs. Dogs have been part of my family my whole life. Thank you for that, Jim. Honestly, that was uh, that was very touching. But I, I hate to tell you this. This is Alcoholics Anonymous. <laughs> Sometimes, though, it's hard to tell good dogs from bad dogs. Okay, but what about this one? <laughs> that's, that's a bad a, dog. That's a what good about this boy. one, Jim? This is not a good boy. No. <laughs> what is that? I don't like that. Why are you over here scheming with each other like you know something I don't? And first of all, in context here in this situation, what could even be funny to both of you at the same time? At maximum, that's going to be hilarious to only one of you. Homeowner's insurance may pay for your dog bite injuries. Throw me a bone, will you? It was dog propaganda the whole time! I should have known! This is the last time I fall for it. But that is not all. Jim's firm is apparently prolific enough to the point where they've actually set up their own law TV network starring Bill and Jim. No Sounds way. important. We gotta see this. Welcome to Hammer TV. I'm Jim Adler, the Texas Hammer, and this is... Bill Adler, the Texas Hammer. 
We're going to talk about say. traumatic brain injuries. Traumatic. Oh, yeah, baby. I've been waiting for this one. This is officially a good season of Law TV. Carcinogenic roof lining episode when? Ooh. Oh, Let's no. see some of the questions that people ask about the most common causes of traumatic brain injuries, Bill. Bill, come on. Pick it up from here. This is obviously your domain looking at you. And <laughs> I still love you. I'm still your pops. I just need you to explain to the audience out there what it's like to uh, think in squares like you do. Oh, well, the God. most common thing we hear about traumatic brain injuries are, what is the cause of them? Yeah, that's pretty hard to suss out. I don't know, Doc, do you feel like maybe it had something to do with the way my mom would always give my brother his serving of dinner first most nights? Or do you think it had something to do with the lamp that fell on my head? <laughs> when I lift this hammer, my brain is telling hammer. me to do that. When I put this hammer down, my brain just told me to put it down. I can't go against my brain. You should be happy my brain spared you. I have the will and the means to create a brain injury. And you can call my son Bill for representation once you have sustained that. But listen, Jim is a professional. You don't get to spend over a hundred million dollars on advertising over the years if you're not doing something right. So he's gonna do what he always has done over the years and adapt to a changing industry. That's right. Jim Adler's on TikTok, oh, where his no. uh, profile picture is the very current hot coquette meme. Everyone knows that. Relatable, right? <laughs> yes, I know what that means, definitely. That makes me want lawyer. This makes me want lawyer. What the fuck? Oh my God. What the actual fuck? <laughs> is that really, is this really pulling in the numbers? 43,000 yeah. likes? <laughs> I guess so. I unfortunately, I guess so. Look at Bill Adler over here looking like he just hijacked Jimmy Kimmel's opening monologue. I'm Bill Adler, the Texas Hammer. Of course I'm not scared to jump on an 18-wheeler in our commercials. Oh, wait, what? That's the end? Okay, honestly, good move. I see they're going for the humanizing, relatable approach, okay? He doesn't want to admit that he's also not scared in real life. That would make him way too cool and unapproachable. I mean, I get it. I don't want legal analysis from someone who's better than me. You know, I've been seeing a lot of this nonsense about you being an Avenger. I'm not the Avenger. I'm the Texas Hammer. A hammer is a more powerful weapon. Oh, no. He's discovered the true extent of his powers. Jim, please, show restraint. I hit hard. <laughs> Are you ready for some fearless justice? I feel pretty damn good, to be honest, Mr. Adler, besides the fact that you just killed me. Here I go. <laughs> Oh, by the way, great ads. I, if I get hit by an 18-wheeler, I'm definitely calling you. Just saying. Okay, here I go. Oh, my gosh. All right, follow me, if I may. You're the <laughs> oh. Texas Hammer, right? You're the Texas Hammer. This, you got to listen to me. This is what the kids are into these days. On TikTok and Instagram, it'd be more relatable to them if I were the Texas Hammer. Guys, just, you're not listening to me. Trust me on this. What the fuck did I, we just watch, I dude? literally, okay. That's not a hammer. Is that like a mallet? That's not just a hammer. Like no, that was like a sledgehammer. A sledgehammer, that's the word. It was like, uh, not what I would use to stop an 18 wheeler. <laughs> but when you're that guy, I guess it doesn't fucking matter. I kind of feel bad though, use. because like his dad's like really embodies his character, you know, like oh, really goes for he it. He has a whole gimmick. And then like his son's like, yeah, I'm a hammer too, daddy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm a hammer too. I had a friend of mine tell me about this guy years ago and he was like, I think I saw one of his commercials before, but I was just like, what the fuck, you know? It didn't hit me like this. I didn't know he had like a trillion of them. And a TikTok. And a TikTok. Like, I didn't know that he it. was like a savage all the time. I just thought that was some random one-off bullshit. TikTok but it turns out, this guy, that's a brilliant marketing technique. You know what you'll never forget after like seeing a bunch of that shit? That. That guy. It, I just like, he just like was so deep and grovelly like it sounded like he, macho like, man randy savage yeah, or something like had dude. laryngitis yeah. or like he was like trying to clear his throat the whole time uh, or like he had been like drunk on the porch <laughs> for like a week straight and somebody's <laughs> baseball hit their yard or his yard or something hey get that damn ball off my yard oh <laughs> uh, yeah i mean i just 
I feel like if I needed to be represented, I would probably think of him first. Dude, I would love... But then love, I don't think that I would hire him. Bro, let them have me up against the wildest shit I would call him. I just, Dude, I, I know, want man. that guy in the courtroom. Hell no! This no, motherfucker... I don't want to get thrown out. Yeah. Look, Contempt especially court. if I'm guilty. Oh, hell. Well, yeah, I mean, maybe then. No, no, because then you don't want to go to jail. Sometimes you're just going. And that would be the time when I know when they're handing down my sentence, I want him. This is bullshit, you know? At least he could get the people in support of you hopped up Maybe. about the fact you're in there. Yeah. You know, shit, that way, this if you guy. Ever had, um, oh, God, my voice just broke. <laughs> had, um, <laughs> and then I just, like, break into character and I'm actually him. Um, it's been him what all is along. That called whenever, like, you get like a retry, retrial. No, you have like a date where you can, like, if you're good, then maybe you can, re like, like ask the judge to, like, can I please leave? What are you talking about? Yeah, like when people. Oh, when like, you go like before the fucking board and shit to see if you can yeah. get released on good behavior and shit. Yeah, like. I don't know enough about yeah. all this bullshit to even care, like. That's you really know, me. like I don't, I, I, I've never been like, you know, what? Be like life with no chance of parole. Is it that is parole? parole. Oh, out on parole. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Or you could be out on bail if the judge no, sets a bail. Yeah, that's, that's not what I, but that's not like that's after not you're that. convicted, I guess. But, um, no, I think, I think parole is what yeah. you're talking about. The parole board, you got to sit in front of and then they, or like, hmm. yeah, because they'll be like, I don't know, you stabbed somebody in the kidney last week. They'll be like, did you like, did he have remorse? Like, are you gonna do it again? Like all of that. So, anyway. um, but yeah, I don't think that having him as your lawyer would, would be a deficit to anything. I would hire him, dude. He can even cuss people out in Spanish on your behalf. Probably. Yeah, look, he's putting the work in, man. That TikTok was uh, pretty wild. I'm going to go follow him on TikTok. You know how much I'm on that platform. Not. Um, this was a wild JonTron video. Yeah, I'm, you never really know like, what The production it's has be. gone like... Mm -hmm. I mean, his production is yeah. incredible. He's still just as funny as he ever was, in my opinion. And the production value of his shit has just gone through the roof. I'm so impressed with that transition into the ad. He and um, Internet Historian oh, yeah. have probably the best yeah. fucking ad transitions. They're great. It doesn't take you away from... You're, you're not like, oh, here no, goes the commercial. No, I mean, even at the end, he was like, well, that was kind of weird. <laughs> like, you know, so. Yeah. No, they get it, man. This shit was fucking badass. I hope all of you guys have subscribed to John Tron's channel. And if you haven't, you should go do that. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. And we will see you in the yeah. next one. Bye. Hammer time. Did he say that? No, he did not. He will hammer you. <laughs>